in a previous lecture capture, we talked about how the central chemoreceptors and the peripheral chemoreceptors cooperate to detect uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide and to adjust the uh, ventilation appropriately. For this one, I'm going to talk about acidemia brought on by acidosis, so a decrease in the plasma pH caused by, say, increased lactic acid production. Um, and how this can create a conflict between the central and the peripheral chemoreceptors, uh, sending mixed messages to the respiratory centers as far as what to do with, with ventilation. So just during normal conditions, the, vent of the rate of ventilation is determined largely by partial pressure carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid which quickly dissociates to bicarbonate a proton. The peripheral chemoreceptors are sensitive to the concentration of protons. They're located within the carotid bodies and aortic bodies, and so they are monitoring, continuously monitoring blood pH levels and are adjusting ventilation appropriately. Also, carbon dioxide is a freely diffusible gas that can diffuse across the blood-brain barrier and react with water on the blood-brain barrier side to produce uh, ultimately bicarbonate and protons. Central chemoreceptors are sensitive to the proton concentration in the brain interstitial fluid or brain ISF and they too are going to drive ventilation based on the concentration of protons within the brain. During lactic acidosis, due to increased last lactic acid production, we can break down the sequence of events into a few stages. For this first stage, we're going to consider the onset of the metabolic acidosis. So imagine just a rapid production of lactic acid, say in the muscles due to anaerobic metabolism, decreasing the blood pH. At the onset of this metabolic acidosis, the peripheral chemoreceptors are going to sense the decrease in the pH or the increased proton concentration, and they're going to want to respond by increasing the ventilatory drive, that is to increase ventilation, and the strategy being, well, let's blow off some carbon dioxide, we'll decrease the partial pressure of carbon dioxide by ventilating more heavily, um, and this will cause a leftward shift by the law of mass action to help decrease the proton concentration back down to normal. Because the perif peripheral chemoreceptors are, are very important for monitoring and responding to changes in pH in the periphery. However, at this onset, the central chemoreceptors are unaware of this pH challenge out in the periphery, and that's because they are insulated by the blood-brain barrier. Movement of bicarbonate protons and many other substances between the blood and the brain interstitial fluid is regulated by the blood-brain barrier and the blood CSF barrier. Because of the blood-brain barrier, the central chemoreceptors do not detect the decrease in blood pH, that is the acidemia. As part of the compensatory response, as I, just, as I mentioned a moment ago, the peripheral chemoreceptors are going to try to increase ventilation to decrease the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and try to blow off that CO2. So by mass action, this is going to cause there to be a decrease in that free proton concentration within the blood. But simultaneously, because carbon dioxide is at equilibrium across the blood-brain barrier between the blood and the brain ISF, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide within the brain is going to also be reduced. So there will be a net movement of carbon dioxide out of the brain ISF towards the blood as it's being ventilated off. This is going to also cause, by mass action, a leftward shift in the, in the parallel reaction within the brain ISF leading to a abnormally high brain pH. The increase in the brain pH, that is the decrease in the proton concentration, will be sensed by the central chemoreceptors and as a result are going to want to limit the increased ventilation driven by the peripheral chemoreceptors. So right now we're at a situation where the chemoreceptors will be, will be sending conflicting messages to the respiratory centers. The peripheral chemoreceptors, if it was solely up to them, would like to increase ventilation to continue to bring the pH back into the normal level. 
as it is, their response, their, their ability to compensate for that pH challenge is limited by the central chemoreceptors desire to normalize the brain ISF. And as a result, we will only see a partial respiratory compensation. So the net effect of the tug of war between the central chemoreceptors and the peripheral chemoreceptors due to lactic acidosis in this case will be partial compensation stimulated by the peripheral chemoreceptors but limited by the central chemoreceptors.